Welcome. In the previous episode, we were discussing regarding the anatomy of flowering plants and we discussed the tissues, the types of tissues, the meristematic tissues which includes the apical meristem, the lateral meristem and the intercalary meristems, the permanent tissues which includes the simple tissues and the complex tissues. Under the simple tissues, we studied parenchyma, colenchyma, and sclerenchyma. And under complex tissues, we studied xylem and phloem. Also studied about the primary xylem, the protofloem, the metafloem. In this episode, I will be discussing with the tissue system and other subtopics. The tissue system is divided into epidermal tissue system, the ground tissue system and the vascular tissue system. The epidermal tissue system, it is the outermost covering which has stomata, epidermal appendages, trichomes and hairs. It is made up of parenchymatous cells and the outside layer is thick which is made up of cuticle which is a waxy thick layer. The root hairs are unicellular elongations of the epidermal cells and help absorb water and minerals from the soil. The stem also has epidermal hairs which are known as trichomes. They are multicellular, branched or unbranched. They may be soft or stiff and they are secretory in function. The trichomes help in preventing water loss due to transpiration. The stomata are present on this epidermis. Stomata are minute apertures or pores which are found in the epidermis which is meant to regulate transpiration and gaseous exchange. The stoma is made up of two bean shaped cells which are known as the guard cells. These guard cells they possess chloroplast which regulate the opening and closing of stomata. The stomata is made up of two bean shaped cells which is known as the guard cells. The guard cells possess chloroplast and they regulate the opening and closing of stomata. The specialized cells in the vicinity of the guard cells are known as the subsidiary cells. The stomatal apparatus is made up of the stomatal aperture, the guard cells and the subsidiary cells. The ground tissue system, it consists of simple tissues that is parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma. The cortex, pericycle, pith, medullary rays, they are all made up of parenchymatous cells. The vascular tissue system consists of complex tissues that is the xylem and phloem. So a vascular bundle includes xylem and phloem. In a dicot stem, the cambium is present between phloem and xylem. Such a type of vascular bundle is known as open vascular bundle. In monocotyledons, vascular bundle have no cambium. Such a type of arrangement is known as closed vascular bundle. When the xylem and phloem in a vascular bundle are arranged in an alternate manner on different radii, we call it radial vascular bundle. When the xylem and phloem are situated at the same radius of the vascular bundle, we call it conjoint vascular bundle. We will now study the anatomy of dicot root. If we take a dicot root and do a transverse section of it, we find the following structures. The outermost layer is known as the epidermis. The epidermal cells protrude in the form of unicellular root hairs. The cortex is made up of parenchymatous cells which are thin-walled 
with intercellular spaces. Innermost layer of the cortex is the endodermis, which is made up of single layer of barrel shaped cells without intercellular spaces. The endodermal cells have Casparian strips, which is a waxy material, which is made up of suberin. Next to the endodermis is the pericycle. It is a few layered, thick walled parenchymatous cells. Two to four xylem and phloem patches are found in this. The cambium ring develops between xylem and phloem. The pericycle, the vascular bundle and the pith together make the stele. Anatomy of monocot root. If we cut a transverse section of the monocot root, we find the following characteristics in them. It has epidermis, cortex, endodermis, pericycle, vascular bundle and pith. It has more than six xylem bundles. Here the pith is large and well developed, but here no secondary growth is found. Anatomy of dicot stem. If we cut a TS of the dicot stem, we find the following characteristics. The outer protective layer is the epidermis, which is covered by a thin layer of cuticle, which may bear trichomes and few stomata. The cortex has three subzones. They are the hypodermis, which is made up of cholenchymatous cells and which gives mechanical strength to the plant. The second is the cortical layers, which is made up of parenchymatous cells. The innermost layer is the endodermis, which is rich in starch grains and forms a starch sheath. The pericycle is present on the inner side of the endodermis and the vascular bundles are arranged in a ring which is conjoint open with endarch protoxylum. The pith is made up of parenchymatous cells. Anatomy of monocot stem. If we cut a transverse section of the monocot stem, we find that they have a sclerenchymatous hypodermis. The vascular bundles are surrounded by a sclerenchymatous bundle sheath, which has large conspicuous parenchymatous ground tissue. The vascular bundles here are conjoint and closed. The vascular bundles are smaller than the centrally located ones. Here the phloem parenchyma is absent and the water containing cavities are present. Regarding the anatomy of leaves, the dicotyledonous leaves are generally referred to as dorsiventral leaves. A vertical section through the lamina shows three main parts. It consists of the epidermis, the mesophyll and the vascular system. The epidermis covers the upper surface. The upper surface is known as the adaxial surface and the lower the abaxial one and it has conspicuous cuticle. The abaxial surface has more stomata. The tissue between the upper and lower epidermis is called the mesophyll tissue which is made up of parenchyma and possess chloroplast. It has two types of cells, palisade parenchyma, which is made up of elongated cells and spongy parenchyma, which are oval and loosely arranged. The vascular system includes vascular bundle, which are surrounded by bundle sheath cells. Monocotyledonous leaves are known as isobilateral leaves. Their anatomy is similar to the dorsiventral leaves but it shows certain differences. Here the stomata are present on both the surfaces of the epidermis and the mesophyll is not differentiated into palisade and spongy parenchyma. In grasses, the adaxial epidermal cells along the veins modify themselves into large colorless empty bulliform cells. Let us have a quick look at the portions we studied in this episode. We studied about the classification of tissue system, the epidermal tissue system which has the stomata in it, 
the ground tissue system, the vascular tissue system, the anatomy of dicot root, the anatomy of monocot root, anatomy of dicot stem, anatomy of monocot stem, dorsiventral leaves, isobilateral leaves. Continue with this unit in the next episode. Thank you.